Good afternoon on Wednesday, March 11th. Nice and warm sunny day here in the Magic City. Supposed to be fairly cool tonight as well. But it sure does feel much better now that we are in the spring season and that there's fresh air and also spring sports to look forward to. So good afternoon or evening to you guys whenever you are listening. Just so maybe possible that you could listen to this on the next day, but I am recording this on March 11th, like I said. Today features episode 34 of the show produced by KMSU TV and Radio, sponsors by Joshua Strong Photography and the MSU Red and Green. This is the Minot Sports Podcast. I've often said Wednesdays are days off for Minot Sports. Well, tonight is not one of those off days. We have a primetime hockey matchup tonight. Pack the Pepsi for Minotauros Hockey against their in-state rivals, the Bobcats from Bismarck. Puck drop is at 7.05. Should be yet another fun matchup. As you guys know, both teams are in the same division, the Central Division of the North American Hockey League. And Bismarck, they've been... High up there in the division. Not quite first, which the Aberdeen Wings have had free reign over that spot for a long time now. But they're still doing fairly well. Whereas last year was kind of Toros had that spot in second. And the Bobcats last year were in the spot that the Toros are in right now. Well, we're going to take a look at what we're getting into here tonight. If we take a look at the standings right now, Aberdeen Wings, of course, already clinched playoffs. They sit at 1 with 74 points. Bismarck Bobcats just behind them by 4, so they have 70. And when you look at Minot... They're sitting at a distance where it might be hard to catch them at this point, but nine points back of the Bobcats, so they're at 61 with a 27, 15, and 1 record with six losses in the shootout. This is one of those games where if Minot needs to catch up to Bismarck, it starts with this game right here. The big Central Division foe. I mean, you also got to look at the third place team ahead of Minot, the Austin Bruins. It is a tight race right now. And sitting behind Minot is the Minnesota Wilderness at 56 points. So you don't want to let the Wilderness catch up. And you also want to secure a good spot getting ready for the playoffs. And with just under a month to go, there's still a chance for Minot to go on a run. Tonight is, like I said, a big matchup because Minot can still catch Austin and Bismarck. Plus, Minot has a few games in hand as well. Let's not forget that. So definitely a few favors for your Toros team. It'll be key here to see what gives in this last month. But if the playoffs were to start today, your Toros would be in it, but they would have to face the Aberdeen Wings in the first round, which that is not an easy task. But if Minot, they were able to move up to the third or second place spot, it'd be a more favorable matchup for them. Granted, we have seen some upsets before. It'd be a huge mountain to climb to face Aberdeen in the first round of the division. Which that is still possible, but rather let's hope that there are better options available if the Toros can make that push and the two other teams start falling off. So Aberdeen at 74 points, Bismarck at 70, with the Austin Bruins also at 63. I mean, it would be nice 
just to see Minot in there in the playoff bracket, in the North American Hockey League playoff bracket. But Aberdeen would be a big challenge. If Minot can secure a few more points with a few other teams falling off, there's certainly a greater chance of success. Not saying the team's bad. You just got to hope that we can get some favorable matchups up here. But yeah, 7.05 tonight versus the Bismarck Bobcats, a big one. Just got to cheer on the Toros to get some victories, especially since all their games are against Central Division opponents. Key points up for grabs, guys. Another major event going on, being hosted by the Dome on the beautiful campus of Minot State University. Region 6 basketball tourney action. Last night there were two games, one between the Nedros Cardinals and the Rugby Panthers. Rugby won that game, so they'll move on to the Region 6 championship. But there was also... R.E. Deemers, the Knights, facing off with the Drake Animus Raiders. Knights having beaten the TGU Titans to get to the Drake Animus game, and Drake Animus had to beat, unfortunately, the Bishop Ryan Lions to get to the R.E. Deemers matchup. And a low-scoring performance, but again, as... You move up in the bracket. The opponents are going to get tougher, and so defense is going to be a real strength for whoever's playing. But in the end, the Knights claim victory. They move on to the Region 6 Championship. They will face the Rugby Panthers. They beat the Drake Animus Raiders by a score of 45-35. to Drake was looking like they were going to find a way to tie it come back, but just the key shots at the end for Ari Deemers, it just, Drake Animus could not fetch a comeback there. Big games coming from Landon Lang and Levi Weekly of the Knights, Lang hitting 18 points and Levi with 11. Those two guys alone almost scored the same amount as Drake Animus. So they were a big factor for the Knights being able to move on to the Region 6 Championship, which, in fact, will be going on tomorrow in the Dome at 7.30, right after the third-place game between the Drake Animus Raiders and the Nedros Cardinals. The winner of the Region 6 Championship game will go on to the state tournament for Class B Boys Basketball being held at the Bismarck Event Center next week. So it takes, with all of the Class B schools in the state, there's a lot of them. And just the comparison or looking at both Class A and Class B There's a lot more to offer for Class B, and it is a longer journey, a longer stretch. They need to collect more wins than what Class A usually goes through. And so whoever gets this next one, they are making strides, big strides. So tomorrow night at 7.30 in the Dome... Good luck to the Ari Deemers Knights versus the Rugby Panthers. Tough squad, it seems like. They hit the three very well versus Nedros. We will see how each team plays out, how they game plan for whether it's the high-octane offense from Rugby that we have seen so far. Maybe Ari Deemers has a defensive plan, defensive game plan. Rugby might just continue with the three-point effectiveness from deep. We will see, though. 
and it's going to be a good one. It's going to be a fight to the finish for the right to move on to Class B State Championship. Quick reminder to you guys that the Minded Sports Podcast is a production of KMSU TV and Radio, sponsored by Joshua Strong Photography and the MSU Red and Green. Kind of a shorter episode today, but kind of entering some inactive days here, which those aren't fun, but there are going to be some breaks here and there. But I do want to thank you guys, though, for checking in on episode 34. Much appreciated. I'll talk to you guys later. And as always, take care.